This is Hidden Killers Week in Review. A look back at the most prolific stories of the week. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. Featuring author, psychologist, and daily contributor, Siobhan Scott. Nikolai Mew, he is the man in that infamous river video that you may have seen on social media out of the Apple River in Wisconsin. He's the older gentleman who uh, was shoved down in the water. Looks like he's being attacked by a mob of kids. And if you watch really closely, you'll realize that he started stabbing them in self-defense. That's what he claimed. Uh, The jury uh, did not buy that argument, though, and they did find him guilty of first-degree reckless homicide. The original charge is first-degree intentional homicide, which would have been him standing on the other side of the river going, I'm going to go kill me some kids. That's not exactly what happened at all. Uh, But the jury has spoken. Uh, Sentencing still yet to take place. Joining me to discuss this case, and it's just horrible all around. Siobhan Scott, psychotherapist and author. You got a chance to review the videos in their entirety. Uh, Let's just start there. What was your reaction to what was going on in that chaos? Just absolute awful, awful, awful behavior. Um, I I saw a lot of testosterone mixed with alcohol and and a big group of people who were all fired up. Mm -hmm. And that's always, you're going to have a bad outcome when you get that going. And all parties on that river had been drinking. And Mm -hmm. I think a lot of them had been drinking a lot. And it was confusing what was going on on um at at uh, one point he was clearly being attacked was he in danger of you know losing his life probably not but was he aware of that mm-hmm. i think he was definitely having the fight or flight yeah. response and we know when people go into that response they lose rational thought sure you know and if you have somebody with a gun or a knife you're going to have a bad outcome at that point and it's just it it was horrendous what happened you know the way that the kids were killed was horrendous um but yeah i agree i don't think he went over there with the intent of i'm gonna stab people no. but he truly had a, a fight or flight response he was in fight yeah and it it was just horrible let's talk about what was going on uh, with the kids, first of all, uh, because that's where this fighting begins. There's this literally mob mentality, this group of uh, young adults drunk uh, in the river, and and they're attacking him. They're pushing him down. They're calling him a rapist and a predator. I mean, just, just the most vile things with, with no basis whatsoever, other than there's a stranger yeah. here looking for a phone. And he's trying to explain it of what he's doing. And all they want to do is scream and yell like hyenas. And I mean, it was a really kind of scary thing just to watch. And it's not like we haven't yeah. seen this before. And I'm sure this probably was running through his mind as well. It is very common that we see today, unfortunately, groups and mobs of young people going and killing people because of the mob and that mentality. Let's speak to what the heck was going on in the minds of those kids and how this even took place. Cause to me, it's kind of baffling. I don't, I, I can't contemplate being in a group of friends back then that would have gone and done something like this to a random stranger, but we're seeing it a lot. Why is that? It, it does seem to be when you, you mix alcohol and aggression and group dynamics, particularly with young men, that there's this performative aspect. They amp each other up. They catch. It's almost like the aggression is catching Mm -hmm. and they start entertaining each other and they go into this, you know, the hysterical laughing and the the bizarre. It has that sadistic quality to it. And yeah, we've seen it in other cases. And it's it's a lot of the factor that happens in gang violence when people do these horrific into things that if you had it one individual alone they would never go there but when you put them all together it's it's caught it's contagious and it amplifies so it's a it's a wonderful example horrible example but a wonderful portrayal of what social contagion looks like and that's an interesting thing and i think something that uh, i think most of us are probably not very familiar with we just we kind of think well you know everybody's you know here's how they act normally this is how they're balanced just because there's more people around not necessarily going to make you do something that extreme but it it surely 
does. I mean, is this something, and, and we see it in, in men a lot, but we see it in, in groups of girls too and, and, and women. It, it's not just specifically males. What changes in the brain? What is it that, that's going on that suddenly they, I think what makes it so sick is, is the, the, the joy that they seem to be getting out of torturing yeah. another human being. And these are probably kids that aren't necessarily walking around getting joy out of any of that in normal life. Right. Yeah. It really does seem to be, they go into this bizarre kind of amygdala aggression where the prefrontal cortex, the thinking brain is where we get good judgment, where we get problem solving, where we get planning. It's like that shuts down. And we've seen it a lot historically in war times mm -hmm. when you get these you know, I think of the My Lai massacre in, in Vietnam, where you just had, you know, a village of people just who were not threatening at all, who were just completely wiped out. And it becomes this kind of primate, very mm -hmm. primitive um, reaction. It seems to be a hallmark of our species that when you get the wrong combination of people together, particularly with this group mentality, us against them, you get the worst of human behavior. Sick of the ads? We are too. Start listening with no commercials now and get access to all of our episodes in advance of everyone else. Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts or go to our podcast page and sign up now. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Sign up now.